like a pro. You got it. <laughs> All right, but of more immediate concern are those who, unlike John, are on the ice at this time of year. And to that end, coming up next, we've got the story of a female goaltender who decided she wasn't about to let anything stop her from playing this great game of hockey. Justin White has the truly inspirational story of Joanne Lukasik. It's next. CCHA Live continues. What better time to try out hockey than on Hockey Day in Michigan? Novi Ice Arena got involved in today, today's events with a Try Hockey for Free clinic this afternoon. Young kids were able to take to the ice and try out the sport for the first time. There were definitely a few tumbles at the event, but overall, tons of fun was had by all the kids who attended. And you know, Joanne Lukasik spends so much time on the ice that her friends jokingly ask her why she even has a house at all. When she's not playing goalie, the 55-year-old is coaching not one, but two teams. And as Justin White tells us, the only thing greater than Joanne's passion for hockey is the obstacles she had to overcome to keep playing it. As she does every Monday night, Joanne Lukasik is heading to the ring. Joanne plays for a team called the Stingrays in the Michigan Senior Women's Hockey League. Like so many others who play, Joanne lives for the game. For me to step out on the ice, when I have my goalie equipment on, I'm comfortable. Everything seems like it's in balance. But unlike many others, Joanne has a couple extra pieces of equipment. When she was 16 years old, Joanne lost both her legs in a farming accident at her family's home in southern Ontario. Well, it was several days after, and I remember uh, my mom coming to the, uh, my bedside, and and, uh, and I was and I had been going in and out at that point, and uh, I was fairly lucid at that time. And and I says, "Oh, by the way, can you call the coach and tell him I'm not going to make the next game?" And she looked at me and she says, "Well." She says, she says, well, why are you saying that? She says, and I looked at her and I says, I don't have any legs. And she says, oh, so you know. And I says, yeah, I know. I know. I knew right away. Joanne may have missed that next game, but less than a year after the accident, she was back on the ice with a pair of wooden prosthetic legs. The first few times I went out, I was just basically skating along the boards and more or less using the boards as a prop to keep me up at times. Not long after that, Joanne was back to stopping shots. She can't move around as quickly as some other goalies, but she's found a way to overcome that, too. Anyone that's played against me, like, they'll say, man, you're, you've got a fast glove hand. And, well, I use that glove hand, and I've learned to improve the skill with the glove hand because a lot of times to save my bacon, where, no, I can't make the kick save, but I can dive and grab it with the glove, and you're not getting it. Watching her play, it's hard to even tell Joanne has a handicap. Her teammates on the Sting Race quickly learned it's best not to underestimate her. I remember the first time we were going to skate against her as a goalie, and we heard that she had prosthetic legs. I thought, take walk. But not so easy, because she's pretty damn good. Half the time, we don't tell the other teams in tournaments, and then they find out after the game, and they're just, just as shocked. Like the time Joanne was playing in a tournament in Las Vegas, and one of her prosthetic legs got twisted around as she was diving to make a save. I had to go up to the ref and say, hey, you know, the, our, our goalie's leg fell off. Can you give us some time? And, and uh, you know, they were like, you know, are you kidding me? And no, really. So they went over and helped her out and everything like that. So, and she's laughing about it in the locker. She thinks it's funny. Almost 40 years after an accident that changed her life, Joanne Lukasik is living life to the fullest. Gotta get lucky sooner or later. And for Joanne, life doesn't get much better than playing the game she loves. Wow, Justin, what a powerful, uplifting, and inspirational story. Jim, your thoughts on something like that? I mean, hockey players are tough, but this is a t to another level. That, that, this is an incredible story. I mean, uh, determination, the will, the competitiveness. I mean, what an inspirational story. Joanne, Joanne my hat's off to you. Uh, incredible for you, your teammates. What a wonderful, wonderful story. Yeah, certainly, Joanne. We're proud of all your accomplishments, and we're definitely admiring your spirit here on Hockey Day in Michigan. All right, coming up next, it's about time to drop the puck on game one of our double.